Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here, man. Today, we're actually going to be doing some more Forza Horizon 3, man. This is something that we haven't done in quite some time, man. It's been a little minute, but uh, I wanted to get back into the groove of playing all the games that I do own, or at least, you know what I'm saying, bring back the variety that I used to have. So, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a track build on this uh, Ferrari California. I believe this is the California T. No? Yeah, yeah, California T. Yeah, I had it right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and build this guy up to the top of S1, take it on a couple of races, and we'll see how it does. Now, y'all already know, man, I'm, I'm kind of used to doing these these builds and stuff, man. We're not engine swapping. We're not drivetrain swapping. But uh, I haven't been playing Forza at all lately, so hopefully, hopefully this does go well. I guess we're going completely stock all around. It's like I really got to get used to this game again. Well, not really get used to it, but... I just need to uh, play it more. I don't really play it like I used to no more. So I definitely want to do that. Let me see. Are these rims? Oh, these might be like somewhat the lightest rims that we can get. Oh no, they're well, they're not the lightest that we can get, but they're damn near the lightest. Mm, I kind of want to. I kind of do want to go a little lighter. Hmm, what should I do? Like the ones that look the best add weight and then I would throw these on just because they're already black and everything I ain't got to do nothing to them the TE 37s I might just throw them oh wait actually these right here they're gonna get it yeah we're gonna go with these right here why not, man? Why not? Oh, wait. We already got the tire tread. All right, man. Let's keep it going. Let's see what else we can do. We got the clutch. Y'all already know. We got to do all this right here so that we can, you know, do a decent tune. Got to throw the diff on there. Here we go. Got to go with the race springs and damps. You know what I'm saying? We got to throw all of this on right here. I may or may not do the Goliath. I'm trying to decide on that now if I want to do the Goliath or not. Mm hmm. We, I, uh, we, we'll go with 349 pounds. Uh, let's go straight to the twin turbos. Yeah. All right. So that's good. That's good. Flywheel. Uh, intercooler. That adds weight. We probably, well, that's oil cooling, not intercooler. That's oil cooling. Get the cams. Um, intake. Oh, we're at 899. One more. Oh, wow. That throws us over. Everything is gonna throw us over now, I bet. I bet. See, man, everything's gonna throw us over now. Oh, except that. Let me throw that on, why not? All right, so literally everything else throws us over. There's kind of nothing else that I could really like take down so that we can get that power, or at least so we can get that PI back, but. All right, I guess we'll, we'll we'll just slide with that. We'll be 899. We don't have to be 900. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and install the setup. So we went down 400 pounds, up 210 horsepower. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good in my book, man. Yeah, if you do it, ask me, man. It's pretty good. So uh, yeah, man. Like I was saying, I want to get back into the groove of playing more Forza, and yeah, we're gonna leave it red. I'm not even gonna change the paint job, but I want to get into the groove of playing more Forza. Like I used to, and uh, so we're gonna be back doing these Forza Horizon 3 builds and Forza 7 builds are gonna be coming back as well. Hit the action button to see what you can win this week. No, I'm good on the Forza. There's a driver who's got a bit of a following. It might be worth bringing them into your lineup. I don't know why my game kind of seems really low. Yeah, like it's really low. Let me go to my settings real quick. I don't know why. Uh, audio. Okay, not video. Audio. Where is, see, I don't know why that sounds really young. Guess we'll turn all that up. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it like that. There we go. That's way better. All right, we may have to throw on a decent little tune. Let me see how the rolls stop. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it does only have 660 horsepower, so. 
you know, we, we gotta, I mean, 760 horsepower, so we do gotta remember about that. We're not gonna be able to get too much top speed out of it, and it's a seven speed, too. So, let me see how, let me see how high of a top speed we can get out of it first before we try anything, so I know how high we can, uh, how, how we should just make seven gear go. I may just have seven gear stop at like 220. 217 is the top speed actually, so seventh gear will be stopping at 217 or at 215 probably. We don't need those extra two miles. So let's go ahead, let's throw on a tune. Let's see what we can do. So we'll lower that tire pressure down in the back. All right, so here is what we need to be playing around with. Now let's go ahead and shorten this up. We'll shorten this guy up right here, shorten this guy up right here, shorten this guy. And we should be able to get 217 out of these gears. That's 221. Yeah, so we're at 221. We're almost there. Let me see. What is that? It's 219. It's 213. All right, so one more. 216. Uh, I guess we'll go, we'll go at 216. So I guess I'll leave all of this alone. We'll go ahead and raise that up just a little bit. Try and make them a little bit more even. I think that'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and add about negative two degrees in the front, negative one degrees in the back. Uh, everything else can be left alone. Let's stiffen up the any roll bars all around. I'm a, not too much, because it did feel all right. It did feel all right. We don't need to go too high. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we're not done. All right, so I want to reduce the stiffness in the back, maybe to about 1100. Oh, that's perfect right there. Try to the ride height all the way down. This is dampening down. All right, man. For anybody that's wondering, man. Well, I know you guys probably aren't wondering, man. But I'm actually recording this video at about like it's it's like 4:10 right now, 4:15 in the morning right now, bro. I haven't even been to sleep. You know what I'm saying, man? Probably not even gonna go to sleep. But you know, it is what it is. That's how we do it. So let's see what uh, let's see what the tune is like now. Pretty good launch. Decent acceleration. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I think this is uh, definitely better. This is definitely better. A little bit better. You know what I'm saying? A little bit better. A little bit more controllable. Let me see. Let's look at the uh, look at the stats here. Look at that. 764 horsepower. About 85, 8400 RPMs before it starts to dip off. Okay, all right, that's good enough. That's good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, I guess we can do our first race. Whoa, did not mean to do all that. I did not buy that either. But uh, so y'all already know, man. This will be the first race that we're gonna go ahead and do. Y'all know I always do this race for just about anything, any event that we race on. I always got to make sure I do this, uh, do this race right here, man. So. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just set this guy up. Oh, I did not bring him in the reverse. We're gonna do an exhibition. All right, so let's see what the California T can do. I know it should be able to do a little something, something. I don't think it's gonna be a little slouch, you know what I'm saying? This, this California T definitely will be able to do something. You know what I'm saying, man? But yeah, like I did say, man, I, I actually am up pretty damn early recording this damn, well, I wouldn't say early and late. Like, is it late because I haven't been to sleep? Or, you know, is it early because it's almost the next day? <laughs> I'm actually recording Tuesday's videos, too, on top of that. So, you guys have already seen Monday's videos. I've already pre-recorded those and they're ready to go. They're already, you know, already on the channel, scheduled, uploaded. So, you guys have already seen those. And, uh, you, what the fuck, man? How are we getting passed up right now by a GT4? A GT4 and this R8 up there is just gone. Like, what in the hell? Oh, Jesus. There we go. There we go. All right, this California T, it's not too bad. It's just, I feel like the acceleration is a little bit slacking. Definitely need a little bit more... A little bit more power. I'd say maybe 800 horsepower would have been good. Maybe 850. Would have been like clutch. I mean, we're catching them right now, though. Catching the GT4 and the R8. Doing 204 right now. 
Oh, and then we spinning. Ooh, we gripped up at the last second right there. This R8 is gonna definitely keep pulling away from you though, because that all wheel drive just makes it way too easy for him. That's like that's that's not that's not it. Oh, we just got a Forza time. Just got a uh, 55,000 credits from uh, a Forza time event or a Forza time challenge. Oh, I tapped the wall. Oh, and then I downshifted when I shouldn't have. I thought I had enough room to be in fourth, but that's what happens when you got these new cars that you try to build and race with. You usually never know. Dude, this all-wheel drive is going to always be an advantage for him. Like, look at that, man. He can just pull away. He can just pull away without any problems, man. That's some bullshit. That's some bougie. Bougie, bougie, bougie. I don't think we're gonna get past him, man. I'm gonna still try to. We still got a little bit of time. We got 20% of the race left. It's just that all wheel drive is what's giving him the advantage. What the fuck? Stay back. Stay back. Don't even do it. Oh, boy, we had a downshift. See, I was too worried about the GT4 back there. We're definitely not catching this R8 right now. Definitely not catching this R8 right now. Damn, look at that. All wheel drive is gonna get him right there. That's some cheese, bro. That's some cheese. All right, man. But still, nonetheless, man, this GT4, I mean, not GT4, this uh, California T isn't too bad. We kept up with an all wheel drive R8. So, you know, being that we're real wheel drive and that thing's all wheel drive, that says a lot. That says a lot, you know what I'm saying? That says a lot. All right, let's keep on going, man. I think what I may do is go do the Goliath now. Why not, man? I know the Goliath will probably more than likely be a decent amount of fun right now. You know what I'm saying? This isn't too bad of a car, though, bro. I, I really, I don't know, man. I, I think my tune may just be slacking, but you know, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. Give me that 35k. Because, you know, it may not be the tune that, that could be slacking. But there, there's our 55,000 credits. All right, so I guess we can do the Goliath, because you know, why, why the hell not? I don't think I've, I actually haven't done it at all. So yeah, we, let's go ahead and do the Goliath, man. I may start doing most of my uh, most of my builds on Forza with the Goliath, or most of my uh, Horizon 3 builds uh, on the, oh wait, we did do it. We just did, didn't do the championship for it. That's cool, that's cool. I don't plan on doing the championship either, not right now at least. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to be S1. They can bring anything, but can I not set the class? Oh, that's some cheese. All right, we're gonna have time rolling, so yeah, I can't even set the class. Oh man, all right, it's all good, it's all good. We'll just go ahead and do it. So, let me know what you guys think about uh, possibly doing the Goliath race for every build that we do, or you know, something like that. I'm actually gonna probably do a Goliath racing episode next where we'll probably do the championship for S1 cars or something. I don't know. I haven't played this game in quite some time, man. I'm trying to get really, really get back in the groove with this. Look at that, man. At least I'll be able to catch him this time because I know his top speed is a little bit less than 200. So I should be able to catch him without any issues anyway. But yeah, man, I wanted to say something about uh, Forza Horizon 4. Now, I don't know if there's any information or anything going around being leaked about Forza Horizon 4, but uh, I'm definitely getting that game on release. Like, uh, I'm more than likely about to start pre-ordering games next month, or sometime in, like, August is when I'll probably start pre-ordering games. Because most of the games that I want haven't even, like, sent out anything. Like, they, there's no information about most of these games that I want. Besides Black Ops 4, that's the only game that I know of at the moment that has any type of info, gameplay, or anything out about the game. Like, I don't think Forza Horizon 4 has anything. By the time I finish uh, recording these videos that I'm about to record tonight, I'm gonna probably watch some videos about Forza Horizon 4, see if I can find anything about Forza Horizon 4. And if I can, then uh, I'll probably make another Forza video and I'll talk about it then, but as of right now, 
I'm, I'm pretty sure there's not really too much info out about that game. And it's supposed to be coming out this year, so that's kind of surprising. Unless they take it to uh, E3. And I was just looking at the E3 schedule. I don't think I've seen it, so I don't know. Ain't no telling if uh, Forza Horizon 4 will be at E3 this year. I hope it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to see it. I want to see it. I'm going to have to pre-order this joint. I remember when they had Forza Horizon 3 at E3. I wanted to pre-order this joint. I ended up not even pre-ordering. I didn't even get this on release, I don't think. I think this is one of the games I didn't get on release. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't think I did get this on release. Or did I? No, I did. Or, no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember. I think I got it a little bit. Yeah, I got it a little bit after release, actually. Yeah. I didn't get it on release. I got it, like, some months after release. Okay, all right, all right. Probably definitely could have did a little bit of tune into the rear. Where the hell did these dudes come from? Oh, fuck no, man. Oh, it looks like it's about to start raining. See, I had to change the time because it's going to be a rolling time and it starts in the afternoon, which means that uh, we usually finish the race at night and I didn't want to finish the race at night, so I had to go ahead and change that and finish the race like in the afternoon or we'll be finishing like in the evening. What is he riding? I know it's an Alpha Romeo. I just don't know what kind of Alpha Romeo, because that's that's another car company that I don't study at all. Alpha Romeo and uh, Lincoln, those are like the two car companies that I don't I don't know shit about. Because <laughs> it's like those cars just never interest me whatsoever. It's like not a single car that either of those companies made. I would have I would actually think about owning like in real life. That's just, that's just me and those, those cars are, I don't know, man. It seems like those are just two, two weird companies that, that make cars that barely anyone likes, but people still buy. I don't know if you guys probably feel the same or not, but that's just how. Man, look at it. Step back, son. Step back, son. Oh, okay, I need to stop doing it before I fuck myself over. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying about um, Forza Horizon 4, man, a lot of people are saying, I, I, well, yeah, I did hear some things, not really, not really here, it's just like, when I did my last Forza stream, a lot of people were telling me what they, what they were hearing, and they were saying that basically Forza Horizon 4 is going to come out on, I mean, not come out, but it's going to be based in Japan or something like that. Man, if that's the case, then I, I don't know how I feel about that again. It really wouldn't matter to me, because locations really don't, don't really matter to me much in the game. Uh, it's, it's usually just the content in the games, not the location. I do care less about the uh, location. Oh, no, 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 no. Grip up, grip up. Yeah, okay, there we go. I could care less about the uh, location. Oh, now he about to try and block me? You son of a bitch. Fuck out my way. I got the acceleration on this dude. But I, it really doesn't bother me about the location or anything. I just hope that... Uh, I just hope they keep the cars how they did with this, or you know, at least have a huge, huge selection of cars like they always do, and a huge selection of cars that, that people actually want to drive. Because man, I, I like this. I, I've been seeing a lot lately that these dudes they like to bring, or not these dudes. Turn ten likes to bring a bunch of uh, cars that barely anyone drives or barely anyone likes, and they they really love to cater to the the drifter community more than anything. It's like, bro. Bro, come on now, come on now. Like they be bringing certain cars that only the drifting community likes, and these DLC packs, I'd be like, bro, I'm not buying this shit. <laughs> I'm not buying this shit. I think I'm gonna buy this with this shitty ass car. Man, this shitty ass car pack. I'd be damned if I bought this shit, man. That's usually why I never really. How the fuck are they doing this shit, man, bro? Ain't no fucking way. Get the fuck out my way, bitch. Damn cheese ball. But man, hopefully they just hopefully they have some decent car packs and stuff, man. I think Forza 7's car packs weren't that bad, but I didn't buy any of those either because I barely played that game. Really could have uh really could have bought those. I really it was because I wasn't that good at Forza 7 when I first bought uh first started playing it, first bought it. It took a little second before I got it. Bro, who's fucking driving this shit? Or ROM. Oh my god, dude. This doesn't make any sense how we're just getting passed up now. 
Look at the shit. Yeah, I'm gonna use you at the fucking wall, bitch. That's how we fucking do that. Look at that, man. That Alfa Romeo Avenue, I don't even have a picture of it. That lets you know that. I don't care about that car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get in front of me. You stupid motherfucker. All right, here we go. Come on, bruh. The man tried to use me as a wall. Get the hell out of here. Here we go. Come on now, get out the way, bruh. Jesus. If anybody wondering too, I think I have my difficulty probably on pro or unbeatable. Oh my Jesus. I don't remember which one it was, but it is pretty high. I like to have competition like this, so you know what I'm saying? It's just it's just kind of cheesy how these dudes are like, what the hell? Bro, everybody. Oh my god, this is the first time I've done a Goliath with everybody and stay together. But if you guys watch my uh Forza streams, you'll know what I mean by that. <laughs> Usually in the poison streams, man, there's a lot of people that get left behind. You know, I you know I ain't roasting or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean nothing bad about it, but you know it's the truth. It's the truth. A lot of people usually get left behind on the uh, Goliath. This is the, but you know, I, I would say the main reason why is because people usually eat trees, man. They they eat these trees whenever they're going around turns and stuff. So it, it makes sense to why usually a lot of people don't really make it or stay together. It's cause man, it, it's so easy to it's so easy to like look at that shit, man. It's so easy to not be straight. Where the hell did this Aston come from, man, bruh? Look at it, and then it's oh my god, bruh. Oh my god, this is that cheese I be talking about, bro. There we go. There we go. Go ahead. Go ahead. We coming. Oh, uh, we ain't gonna be able to pass the GT350R right, like for long, cause we we usually only go faster than it for a, sh uh, a short amount of time, and then it starts to gain speed on us. It starts to pull after a little while. Oh my Jesus, no, Jesus! I'm glad that is indestructible. I mean, I'm glad that is destructible. There we go. There we go. That was a decent turn right there. I need to take this Aston now. I feel like once I get on the beach, that's when I'm gonna uh, end up screwing up. So I need like a lead on these dudes. Just a little small lead, something. Something to where I can just, you know what I'm saying, have a little bit of uh, play time when I get to the beach. I may check my difficulty and see what difficulty I'm on after this. Cause I do wanna know myself. This is ridiculous. These dudes are with me right now, man. Ooh. These dudes is with me right now, you know what I'm saying, man? This this right here, not my squad. Oh boy, I'm one-handed racing. There we go. Oh boy, I wanted to overtake him so bad I braked a little later. Ooh, let's get it! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, take that, yeah! Ooh. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead, let's kick it up. I just need a lead now. I just need a lead now. They are on my ass, but I need a lead. Ooh, but it's Aston, bruh. That fucking V12. Holy shit, I think I'm a V12. No, I'm a V8. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, no. Nope. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I forgot all about the rewind feature. I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. Forgot all about that damn feature. I had to use it just then, man. I, I hugged the wall. I was hold, hugging the wall a little too close there. Had to use it right there. Oh, it's hugging a little too close right there, too. Maybe we got to let off the gas a couple times. All right, there's our, there's our leading gap that I needed. Let's see if I can hold it. Damn, dude, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, we're about to hit the beach. Look, 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 he's coming so fast. What the hell? Bro, that's impossible. Oh, it's over with. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, 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 no. Keep straight, keep straight. There we go. Oh, boy, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming quick, too. Come on. Don't, don't go in it. Don't go in that water. Don't you do it. Oh, my God. 
bad. I granny ship fourth. Oh, we might have it though. Hey, this was an intense Goliath right here. Woo! This is what I'm talking about, man. This is one intense ass Goliath. Oh, we got it though. We got it though. Jesus, man. Jesus. That right there. Why? Okay, why? But yeah, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. This wow. Look at that, man. Everybody crossing the line. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the Forza Horizon 3 builds. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below as well as sub to the second channel. Sheesh, man. I, I ain't even gonna lie. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting to uh, kind of struggle that much during the entire Goliath, but... You know, the competition is good. I like the competition. Let me know what y'all think about the competition. I know y'all gonna like it anyway. It don't even matter. But you know, man, competition is competition. That's that good shit. You know what I'm saying? You need that competition. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I will catch you guys in the next episode or live stream. Peace on out.